Let's talk, before we get into collision, because of our strange wrestling uh, recording schedule, strange wrestling, strange recording schedule this past week, we didn't have the ratings for Dynamite from this past Wednesday when we reviewed the program. Do you have that information at your fingertips now, Brian? I do. This past week's AEW Dynamite, June 21st on TNT, was watched by 902,000 viewers on average. How in the flying f*** did they get 902,000 people to stick with that stinker? And what... What is the the pattern when they do something on Wednesday night that's remotely acceptable to the viewer that one would think people would be interested in? They're down at 800. But when they have something that pretty much stinks from top to bottom, it boosts them about it. Is are people watching for the car crash mentality? This is this is so rotten we can't believe it. More people must see this and give us their opinion. What's going on here? There may be some examples of that here. Let's go to the numbers. These were compiled by WrestleNomics. Quarter 1, 8 to 8.15 p.m. The Guns versus the Hardys, with the post-match of CM Punk, FTR, Ricky Starks, the Guns, and Bullet Club Gold running in. 932,000 viewers. And that's uh, better than normal to start out with. Let's see if they kept them to quarter two. To your earlier theory, quarter two, 8.15, 8.30 p.m., Jeff Jarrett versus Mark Briscoe concession stand brawl with picture-in-picture picture and the Blackpool Combat Club promo, 976,000 viewers. Jesus Christ! When's the last time that they gained over 40,000 people in the second quarter instead of lost some? I don't Ever? Again, a lot of different things could play into that. I personally think that if you were someone not watching and you heard CM Punk appeared, you may have thought he could appear again, and that didn't happen, or you may have tuned in because you heard he just was there. But also, you know, these concession stand matches and arena matches, whatever AEW does, I would think, without knowing for sure, those lend themselves better in a picture-in-picture -picture than regular matches, just because... If you're flipping through, what the fuck is that? What's happening there? So I wonder if that lends itself to the rating, too. I have no idea. But uh, Mark Briscoe should be a ratings draw, but he's not been presented as one, and Jeff Jarrett has not so far scored anything like that. So let's move on. See where we go from here. Quarter 3, 8.30 to 8.45 p.m. A recap of Collision, as well as Chris Jericho, Minoru Suzuki and Sammy Guevara versus A.R. Fox, Action Andretti, and Darius Martin with picture in picture, 926,000 viewers. Okay, well, it's going in the direction that I would imagine that match would go in. They lost 50,000, but they've still got such a big number. That's insane. Quarter four, 8.45 to 9 p.m., the end of the previously said six man tag match. The Chris Jericho Sting live promo confrontation. The Elite. Uh, it just says the Elite. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> the Elite Eddie Kingston promo in the back. And Adam Cole's live promo. 965,000 viewers. What the? <laughs> and they're back up another 40. What is different about this show than any other show they've ever done? Besides, much of it was the shits. Well, that's not really different. Again, we also don't know, although it's a small audience that watches New Japan Wrestling on TV in America, we know that for a fact. We also don't know what percentage of the New Japan fans who don't watch AEW tuned in specifically to see any of their guys, knowing it's the lead-up to the pay-per-view. Again, who knows? But I don't buy it. It didn't happen last year. No, it didn't. And that was awful TV all around that uh, event last year. But let's go to the big 9 o'clock hour, segment 5. 9 to 9.15 p.m., Adam Cole and MJF live promo, and then Orange Cassidy and Shibata oh my versus God. Daniel Garcia and Zack Sabre Jr. with picture in picture. Okay, that is a test. 962,000 viewers. <laughs> 
They lost 3,000. No, well, again, who lost the 3,000? Not, not to spoil anything, but let's go right into segment well, six. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It should have been when you got that fucking pockets debacle for 20-something minutes. They've got to be. You've got to be, what, restrained to the chair? Tied down so you can't reach the remote? Well, segment six, 915 to 930, the continuation of Cassidy and Shibata versus Garcia and Sabre Jr. with picture in picture, 833,000 viewers. Okay, that makes more sense. 130,000. So that's where everybody said, okay, fuck it. We've seen MJF. We've seen CM Punk. Show's over. That's it. This is, again, this is the most bizarre. They start ahead of where they usually start. They never gain in the second quarter, and they do. They lose in the third quarter, but they gain the same thing back in the fourth quarter. Stay steady at the top of the hour, and then Pockets drives off 130,000 people. This is a wild show, wild, weird, wacky show. And again, if we're going based on trends, and who knows what percentage of an audience tunes in just to see if CM Punk's going to show up here, and then he did, and how many people tuned in right after he did, but MJF and Adam Cole, whatever we think about it, it's been working as far as ratings. Their segments have been popping the number. So it is bad placement of that Shibata Orange Cassidy match right after that. But I have to wonder, after MJF and Adam Cole appear, and you pretty much know they're not going to be back on the show the rest of the show, how many people said the show's over? Yeah. Maybe it's 100,000 people here. Who knows? But segment 7, 9.30 to 9.45 p.m., the Will Ospreay-Don Callis backstage confrontation, Tony Storm, uh, yes, a Tony Storm Willow Nightingale video, and Taya Valkyrie versus Chris Statlander with picture in picture, 804,000 viewers. Okay, I mean, they, it could have been worse with that 15 minutes, but they only lost another 29,000 people. So they, in, in a space of two quarters, they've shed 158,000 people. And finally, segment 8, 9.45 to 10 p.m., continuation of Statlander versus Valkyrie, the live promo with Eddie Kingston, John Moxley, and then the introduction of Tomohiro Ishii, and then Brian Danielson calling out Okada, and the appearance of Okada, 818,000 viewers. Okay, so people came back to see if there was going to be a main event, and they found out there wasn't. All righty then. Whew. Do you think, well... I mean, we're about to talk about Collision. Do you think Tony saw these numbers and unfortunately, as it happens every now and then, got a little bit overzealous about the numbers and that led to what was Collision this week? It's possible because their first hour of Dynamite would be a nice, respectable television program if they had cut it off there, but the second hour brought them to an untimely end. But yeah, 